Welcome to Enhancing Your Kingdom Possibilities with Ty and Betsy Tice. Welcome today to Enhancing Your Kingdom Possibilities. Today's episode is called The Crazy Pentecostal. Our Bible reading for this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whenever you're listening, is Acts 2, 12 through 21. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meanest this? Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken as ye suppose, seeing that is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. And they shall come to pass in the last day, saith God. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above in signs in earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor and smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and noble day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Today's story Our introduction to the works of the Holy Spirit started with a TV program in the 1970s called Abundant Living. It originated from a church called Faith Temple in San Jose, and its pastor was a dynamo, who my husband described as a crazy Pentecostal who was utterly sincere. Doesn't that sound a little bit like the Acts 2 passage where Peter had to explain that the people weren't drunk? We loved Jesus. However, we were not schooled in the ways of the Holy Spirit. It reminds me of the people in Acts 19 who said, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. We were about to learn that there was still a Holy Spirit alive and well in the world today. Fast forward about eight years. Our jobs took us, of all places, San Jose, California, where the home of the crazy Pentecostal was. While recovering from a minor surgery, who should appear on the screen but Pastor Kenny Foreman inviting people to church with a Bible in your hand and a friend at your side? Coincidence? I think not. As if that weren't enough, my husband Ty took a shortcut one day and encountered a sign for the future home of the Cathedral of Faith. Wow! We decided perhaps we should visit Faith Temple, the current church. When I told my friend at work about our impending visit, her response was, That's my church, and Kenny Foreman is very blessed. He's been fasting and praying for ten days for miracles. That sounded somewhat out there to us, but we were already committed to go, so we stuck with our plan. The verse that we would like you to consider today is Jeremiah 33, 3. Call on to me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Would you pray with Betsy and me today this very simple prayer? Lord Jesus, I am calling on to you. I believe your promise. Will you fill me completely with your Holy Spirit and draw me nigh to you that I may fulfill your desire for myself and that I may please you in all that I do? I ask this now in Jesus' name. Amen.
Today, as we complete our podcast, we'd like to share with you that the next episode is about me hiding behind a man with a great big Afro hairdo. I thought I could hide from God. I was soon to discover that I could not. We look forward to seeing you then. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands.